How's it going? So I figured while I medicate right now, I will go through some emotions that I'm experiencing while I recover from this hysterectomy. Today has been a super emotional day and I just had therapy a little while ago and I cried throughout essentially my entire session. <laughs> It has been probably over, I would say it's probably been over a year since I've cried like that through a therapy session. Um, I just, I think I, as much as I emotionally prepared myself for having this surgery, what I didn't do was remember somehow how overwhelming everything feels just because of even the chemical shifts going on in your body after surgery and how after doing a really big surgery within a medical transition that everything can just feel like you're starting fresh. Everything is new, you have to experience everything for the first time. <clears throat> and as much as that can be extremely exciting, it's also very overwhelming and can be emotionally exhausting on the to the nth degree. And given that I somehow forgot from my first top surgery because I didn't really, because my, my, I had two top surgeries really, uh, where they had to cut me completely open. And then I had just like an in office wide awake scar revision that was very minor. And so given that those surgeries were all on the same part of my body after the first big surgery, I didn't have as about the same experience the other two surgeries and any of and I know that it's not having to do with the anesthesia which is something I initially thought was a factor because I've been under anesthesia endless other times for gastro procedures and things where you know endoscopies things where they're not really doing much but just looking around and when you're under something that's more temporary and I feel differently during those. So today I woke up, I mean, yesterday was like such a high motivation day and I felt like I got a lot done and I was, I woke up and I was like, wow, I feel so clear. And today I woke up and I was like, I have a headache. I'm exhausted. I feel like I got hit with a truck and I feel lost. It, it leaves me thinking about how much work I put into myself emotionally before surgery and how ready I felt. And this isn't about having regret or not being ready for the surgery. It's just that different feelings come up for different people after different surgeries and sometimes you're not prepared until you're in the moment you know until you're feeling it it's really hard to assume even if my mind was focused on okay after surgery I'm gonna feel overwhelmed like this I still might have felt some element of unpreparedness but definitely forgetting that range of emotions that happens, you know, even though I kept saying, okay, yeah, I'm most concerned about the emotional aspects of recovery, I, I don't know, something just feels different, everything feels different for me, like, literally everything, everything I see, everything I experience, it leads me to feel really overwhelmed and struggling with managing and multitasking and focusing. I mean, growing up, I always felt like I was really great to 
you know, in my more in my adult life, I was really great with multitasking, and I have executive functioning disorder, which is a story for another day. And I've you can go back into my channel, and I'm sure I've talked about it a whole bunch. I might have even made a whole video about it, but ultimately, it makes it really hard for you to focus on individual things. It's hard to organize and I realized that growing up I had a very structured personal and schooling experience and I was okay up until when I started to get sick five years ago because ultimately I, I had a lifestyle where I was able to maintain that level of structure but I'm at a once I got sick, it became having to accept that my life ebb and flows, and then when I started a transition, it's just constant changes, and it's really, really difficult to have structure. And I realized that I was striking out in a lot of situations professionally where I was required to have a very directed, structured day to day because my health and my transition my life it's just not structured it's not structurable in that way not the exact way that I once was because I'm healing right now yes it's supposed to take four or six weeks but I don't know exactly how long it really will take or what it's going to look like even from before surgery I didn't know fully what this was going to look like and, you know, the same thing with the fact that right before surgery, I was, like, just getting back to work from being super sick and bedridden for nine months. So it's, like, I'm constantly feeling like I'm racing against this clock of wellness because I don't know how long it's going to be again before I'm potentially bedridden again. And, of course, I'm manifesting and keeping positive and, you know, that my health is really in an upswing and that I won't have ever again these moments where I'm bedridden but I have to have a balance of being realistic and I learned the hard way that I have to do that I have to accept and live a lifestyle being an entrepreneur having the entrepreneurial spirit is something that's always been within me and I mean it's totally genetic like there are endless entrepreneurs and people with that spirit so it's not exactly surprising that I felt that way, but choosing to live an entrepreneurial lifestyle became mandatory for me once I started to get sick and transition. It, was, it became very obvious the only way in order for me to really be successful was to be able to have that flexibility, to be able to have that control. And that in itself adds a lot of elements of exhaustion and stress and complication and figuring out and it's I don't have the privilege to sit around and purely focus on my identity and figuring out who I am now and what this all means and you know just kind of like having a powwow with myself 24 7 but I'm Yet I'm so in my head and I'm so consumed and my head is like triple speed, which I never thought was possible because my creative mind is going, but also my healing and my recovery and my emotional brain. And, you know, it's it kind of, as I explained to my therapist, it feels like almost like I've done a lap. You know, I did all, I put all that work in and I did improve upon, you know, myself and my way of thinking and my I changed my lifestyle and widened my toolbox of coping skills but it's like I learned I did it all and I worked through it and I learned from it and now I've like passed it and have to sort of like put those on pause and not forget them and just rework a lot of things and it's just a lot I'm exhausted and I'm pretty freaked out. It's bringing a lot of fears to the table, fears I thought I worked through, fears I did work through, fears I've never had before. 
So there are a lot of new challenges, a lot is going on, but I really wanted to share this emotional side from you because this is what this recovery from a hysterectomy is really about at this point. It's all that's up here. So thanks for listening.